lot of people feel like they can't reach out to somebody because people are gonna think that they're crazy. People are gonna be like, oh my goodness, you have anxiety. It'll be the same person that tell you, oh my goodness, you have anxiety, that they have anxiety too. A lot of times when I speak about my anxiety, so many people in the room raise their hand and they say they have anxiety. They say they feel that sometimes from time to time. Some people have it more than others, but a lot of people have it and it's very severe and they feel like they're all alone. And I wanna let you know that you are not alone. channel the Soren Seward family and thank you so much for joining me for another Friday mommy moment and no you do not have to be a mommy to enjoy this moment all you need is a moment I'm Ivy if you're new here go ahead and smash that subscribe button ring that notification bell so you can be notified whenever we upload a video the first thing that we do here on Friday mommy moments is we do Friday shout outs today I want to shout out everyone who is dealing with anxiety and everyone who is dealing with anxiety and hadn't told anyone that they're dealing with anxiety. I wanna let you know to stay encouraged, continue to pray, and continue to seek the help that you need for you so you can be great. And know this, you are not alone with dealing with anxiety. You are not abnormal, you are not crazy. There's a lot of people dealing with anxiety and nobody knows it. And I wanna let you know that here today, you are normal. You are not alone. So today's shout out goes to you. Now let's get to this Friday mommy moment, shall we? Yes, we shall. So a lot of people might be wondering, what is anxiety? So let's take this time to look up what anxiety is. Dealing with anxiety is not easy. I think I realized what I was dealing with when I was like 11 or 12 years old. And anxiety runs in my family. Um, a lot of people have history with anxiety, um, including my sisters, my brother, my mom, a lot of my friends. So I don't feel as weird. Now, let me tell you when my anxiety sometimes acts up. It's not all the same. Sometimes it's really, really different. Sometimes it could be like if it's a large group of people, sometimes if I have something going on or subconsciously, thinking about it and I will just start to go into a panic. And sometimes a panic isn't always what you can see. I could be sitting here talking to you right now and my anxiety will be going all over the world and you don't even know it. A lot of people, you can see their anxiety. Like I have tattoos. Um, two times I went to go get a tattoo. Every time I went and got a tattoo, except for my first one, I was alone. One, when I was getting this one behind my ear, the guy was like, do you need, do you need to take a moment? Are you like panicking? But I didn't, my body was still, I wasn't moving, but he must have seen something going on with me and decided to stop and let me take a moment. Um, when I get piercings, I start to have anxiety. My body is still, but my heart is racing, my palms are sweating, my breathing is heavy. A lot of us deal with anxiety. But what I wanted to come here and tell you guys who are dealing with anxiety and feel like that you're battling it alone, you are not alone. So many people are not speaking up about anxiety and they are dealing with that alone. And that is tough. I cannot imagine going back to dealing with anxiety alone. Before I got saved, I dealt with anxiety alone. I didn't express to nobody what was going on with me. I didn't even know what was going on with me. I just knew certain times that it would get so bad that I would pass out. Sometimes it would get so bad that I couldn't go to a store. I couldn't go into a crowded place. I couldn't walk into a room full of so many people because it would start to act up. And a lot of that dealing with it alone made it even more hard. And I know a lot of people don't believe the way I believe and I will always say that. But my anxiety got better through counseling and it got better through dealing with it with God. And I do believe that when I quote scriptures and I do believe that when my husband pray over me and when I reach out to certain people who are dealing with the same thing that I deal with, it has gotten so much better. And a lot of people feel like they can't reach out to somebody because people are gonna think that they're crazy. People are gonna be like, oh my goodness, you have anxiety? It'll be the same person that say, oh my goodness, you have anxiety, that they have anxiety too. A lot of times when I speak about my anxiety, so many people in the room 
raise their hand and they say they have anxiety. They say they feel that sometimes from time to time. Some people have it more than others, but a lot of people have it and it's very severe and they feel like they're all alone. And I wanna let you know that you are not alone. Everybody is dealing with something. Some people might be dealing with depression. Some people might be dealing with anxiety. Some people might be dealing with substance abuse. Some people might be dealing with who knows what. But a lot of people are dealing with things and they're holding them in. And the reason I'm bringing up anxiety is because that is something that is not, I don't keep a secret from people. You know, that is something that I might not be battling every single day or every single minute of the hour. And yes, it's gotten better, but that is something that I am familiar with. And I wanna let you know that this is a safe place for you to express yourself. I am someone who knows exactly what you're going through. The last time I talked about anxiety on this channel, so many people opened up and dropped comments and so many people poured into them, so many people sent prayers. And I wanna let you know that you can always know that you're not alone. Dealing with anxiety alone can be scary. And I wanna let you know that you don't have to go through it alone and you're not the only one. Don't feel weird when you wanna step out of a crowded room. Don't feel weird if you don't wanna drink that or something triggers off your anxiety and you need to take a moment take that moment that moment is for you that moment is gonna get you through whether it's you praying whether it's I know a lot of people like to meditate whether you need to meditate and breathe and practice your breathing whatever it is that you need to do don't feel ashamed to do that if you don't feel comfortable going out to that movie theater because it's dark or because it's gonna be so many people don't go go when you're ready take baby steps into getting rid of your anxiety it's not all gonna happen at one time all right, I'm now 37. I've been dealing with it since I was 11 or 12. Maybe before that, that's just when I realized that, hey, I don't think something's right. And I didn't speak about it to anybody. I didn't start talking about my anxiety until I was 25 years old. Uh-huh, dealing with it alone. So I don't want that to be you and I really wanted to come today and just speak about anxiety and let people know what anxiety is. Maybe you might have it. Maybe something's going on inside of you and you really don't know what it is. I encourage you to seek help. And when people hear seek help, they think, oh my gosh, people's gonna think. No, that is the right thing to do. That is the mature thing to do. That is setting you on track. That is leading you into the right direction, okay? So stay encouraged, stay blessed, and continue to be you because the world needs more people like who? Like you. And if you're not feeling needed, remember here on the Soar Secret Family channel, you are needed. Peace out, great people. And Lord willing, I'll see you next Friday.